Welcome back to Coffee with the Wolves, presented by JJC Athletics. As always, I'm Damian Dennis, and today I'm joined by Athletics Director Greg Braun. Greg, how you doing? Hey, <laughs> well, I'm all right. We get, we got to get that coffee pot going, um, <laughs> but, but I'm okay. I think I've hit that. Uh, you go through this stage a week, week and a half after baseball season, and, you know, you contemplate where you want to be, and then you um, you go through whole athletics. Like, we're, we're done. Yeah. You know, and um, it takes a moment to hit the brakes and try to just sit back a little bit and see what we do. Um, so we're not in June yet, so I still kind of get and stay in that mode. Yeah. And then June, that month of June needs to be planning, preparing, and then we really kick it back off. Yeah. So um, hoping we can all just breathe a little bit here for the next thirty days, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, this is kind of going to be a season finale of sorts for Coffee with the Wolves because, you know, as you mentioned, we're kind of done for the year, uh, but, you know, it's going to pick back up soon. Uh, and that's what we're here to talk about, just kind of to recap JJC Athletics as a whole from, you know, the fall season through where we're at here at the end of the year. And w let's just dive in and yeah. start talking about the fall because, for me, I <laughs> didn't even come into uh, – athletics here until i think mo all the fall seasons were over yeah. i think i think i was hired or s had my start date the day after cross country finished and i think they were the last ones kind of active at the time yeah. so we're gonna kind of go back to experience the fall team fa fall athletics that i was not here for mm -hmm. i know women's soccer uh, won region four title uh played in districts i'm not quite sure about everybody else but you know obviously you're going to have more insight, hopefully, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, well, but it was long ago at this point. Yeah, you go back to that way back machine. I mean, it um, it seems like it was a long, long time ago, which, yes. you know, when fall kicks off, it's just a, a fresh new start to a year. But you mentioned women's soccer. I can I can see myself still sitting in Minnesota for the districts when I got to the district championship and pretty cold. <laughs> up there and at that time of month, but um, Coach Chung and, and that team, <coughs> really awesome season for them and uh, was awesome to follow them. And uh, cross country, as you mentioned, made our way to Huntsville, Alabama. I think it was this year that they went down there and did really well. Fifth place finishes, um, or fourth place, I believe, on the cross country side. So continued success when it comes to our runners and, and what they're doing. Uh, always look forward to them in November making their way to nationals and and seeing what they can do. So um, it was active. You know, golf was in for the first time, and that was, mm -hmm. you know, that was new. So um, they had some outings. We hosted a golf outing out in Morris. So fall is – it's probably the craziest. Yeah. Um, you have fall baseball, fall softball. You, you mean legit have all your teams in action. Uh, women's volleyball had a great run, and Coach Welsh's first, you know, first uh, go at it as our head coach so fall was is exciting it kind of sets the tone and then uh it sometimes gets lost too because there's so much going on school and, and mm -hmm. new guys new girls back in, on campus and with the student athletes so you'll experience it yeah it, it, it gets <laughs> to be um a whirlwind here in that mid-july to mid-august yeah um I, I'm looking forward to it, especially soccer. I, I, I love the sport of soccer, so I'm excited to get out there and see our men and women in action come this fall. I think both teams start in August, so it'll be late summer, not fall. But yeah, I mean, it's it's coming. You know, I mean, it's like as, as the door closes here on this 23-24 season, it's right around the corner. Yeah. You know, and I know Chris Trio and, and Henry and, and, you know, all of our fall sports. Are, it's like, boy, you really don't have time to breathe and you're back, but – that again, they've been off since November, so they're kind of itching to get themselves back. Where right. spring sports, it's time for us to take a breather. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, now we can talk about the winter sports, uh, which I I was here for. You know, men's basketball had a lot of su success. Uh, they made the national tournament. A few All Americans there. Uh, women's team n kind of had a rough season, up mm -hmm. and down a bit. Kind of had a rough ending, but you know, Grace Harris, for example, she was a you know, kind of a star on the team, and there were many others. Uh, yeah. We had uh, Polly Ked Kedlick yep. uh, for men's wrestling, uh, Maddie Lay for women's bowling. Uh, Ma Maddie won the national championship. 
uh, Polly play, placed, I think, eighth. eighth. So, you know, a lot of success there for our winner, you know, student athletes and those teams. Yeah, I mean, it was great. Coach Turner's run uh, to a national tournament up there in New York was awesome. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, going back to that drive up to Ohio, spilling my coffee on the drive <laughs> on I-80, um, but watching them win it and seeing our student athletes and that success and, and Coach Turner as well and, and getting their feet wet in that national tournament, which is always key. Once you, once you get there, it's like, all right, now we know. Now we know what kind of competition and how we got to play it. So uh, women's basketball, like you said, a little bit up and down, up and down the year, but Coach Sanderson's ready and um, he'll, he'll be ready to go uh, for this year. Bowling was, was really awesome. Yeah. You know, um, and the thing I really like, bowling, wrestling, golf in that way too is the, and actually in track and cross is the individual opportunities. Mm -hmm. And to have an individual female national champion in our first year of bowling, that's, I mean, that is awesome. And I know Coach Bailey got back from there and he, he had like a disappointed feeling and it was like, wow, you know, you just, it's your first year with the bowling program. And he even said, wow, going to nationals really opened up my eyes to, to know where we need to be to compete. But Maddie being a national champ, like, that is so cool. Yeah, and that it was awesome. It was funny talking to both Coach Bailey and Maddie because they were kind of still like, oh, won a national championship, but whatever. They yeah. were kind of yeah. nonchalant about it. And whereas all of us, because I remember we were here for a men's – I think it was men's basketball game. You were like, hey, I guess we had a national champion. <laughs> we're all just like, yeah, woo. Well, right. I think it was that morning, um, I think Rachel or someone, because we were looking for the scores, and then all of a sudden she's like, Maddie won it. And then I asked Jeff, and he's like, well, I got to go look and yeah. you know, make sure this is official. So we actually just got the banner uh, with her name on it and our individual national championship banner. We had to start a new one, which is which is awesome, and we're going to have a few more that are going to get put on there too. Um, but that was really cool. I yeah. mean, it was really awesome to see the bowling program and, and wrestling – the introduction of women's wrestling, mm -hmm. which was really great. Coach Woods has really made um, a valiant effort and has put a lot of time into recruiting of our of our women wrestlers yeah. for that program. And we have seen um, what an importance and what popularity it has in this district, but also coming here to JJC and women's wrestling. So they're going to follow suit, and, and the men are going to be able to kick it off. It's Coach Woods' second year. First year is always just kind of get those feet wet. Yep. See what it is. How does this go? How do I want to run my season? And now we're getting ready to roll with it. Yeah, and especially with more time for recruiting. I'm glad you brought up women's wrestling because I wanted to talk about that. Um, but, you know, they, you know, their first season, um, they competed at the national tournament or our national uh, meet, whatever. Yeah, the invitation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know. Great year for wrestling, uh, just in general. Kind of like you said, Coach Woods can get his feet wet, figure out what he's doing, uh, how he wants to run, you know, his program, and then you know, just the success they had on the men's side helps with recruiting and, that, yeah. Oh yeah, success on men's going to help with women. Success with women is going to help with men. It kind of goes together, um, <clears throat> but it's a different style. Yeah. So you got to get used to that. You got to get used to your practice routine with the women on one side and the men and. Mm -hmm. And the coaching staff and, and just trying to – I'm learning too, you know. And, and as an athletic department, we're just learning. We're learning what the needs are of our coaches, what the needs are for the programs, how we're going to make it work, travel, little things like that that are going to come with little hiccups when you start new programs. Yeah. Uh, but going into the second year now, I think we're going to be really good and kind of ready um, with that. And then I guess you call it a winter sport, but competitive cheer. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. an, another one of our huge – additions to the sports programs here and they went down to daytona beach and finished second in the country yeah. in the all-female um category so there's a three-foot trophy sitting in the trophy case that we had to make sure <laughs> we could find try to find room to put it in um <clears throat> for coach tiff and and, her, and her, her girls and it was it's just awesome and she is building that program yes. you know competitive cheer is is a really cool awesome interesting route in yeah. athletics and the dedication that girls girls do from the choreography to everything is when I saw them perform, I was just blown away compared to where our cheerling program <coughs> a couple of years ago to now having this competitive cheer and she's gone out. There's a lot of letters of intent out there and, and the word is out that, Hey, yeah. 
JJC has got a nice little competitive cheer program, mm -hmm. and it's once again in this district. The schools that feed in there are really good, so that's pretty cool. It, it was really awesome to have them get down there and represent the college. Yeah, and we had Coach Tiffany on just I think two weeks ago to talk about that, and it was funny. I we we forgot to bring in the trophy, but yeah, like you mentioned, it's three <coughs> feet tall. I came in after she brought it back to the uh, G athletic uh, or event center here. And I was walking by because their offices are next to each other, and I catch a glimpse out of it out of my eye, and I go back <laughs> lean back. I'm like, what? It, it's almost it's taller than the tripod that the camera's sitting it's, on. It's big. It's <laughs> big. And so we wanted it down in the trophy case uh, before graduation last week. And um, the question was, well, do we have room to fit it in there? And he said, well, no, we'll have room, but no height. And yeah. so found a perfect spot for it to showcase their success. That's great. It's so massive. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. Uh, and let, let's kind of move into spring sports now. Uh, you know, you're the baseball coach, made the postseason, but, you know, didn't probably get as far as you would have liked. Uh, softball had a rough go of mm -hmm. it. Track, though, you know, finished, well, men finished, what, third? Third in the country. Yeah. Um, and Andrew Cirletti, uh first place in the steeplechase, won national championship there. Women, I think, finished sixth place, I think it was. Six for women. I want to say he brought home – Three individual national championships. Yes, yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, yeah. four by eight hundred. Yep. And Andrew won, and then I believe we had this. Well, Andrew won the steeplechase, yes. correct? And then trying to think of the third one. It's good when you have a successful program and you can't remember how many yeah. or what national championships. It was one. One of the twins won. Uh, part of, part of that relay and then uh, individual yes. race. Yeah. So I mean, they came home on that plane with a third team trophy and three individual national championship trophies and just a huge amount that we came and listen on the wall behind us of mm -hmm. all Americans mm -hmm. and huge placers and success. So we knew track and field was going to be a really good program to bring in just with the continued success of cross country. Yeah. Um, it gives our cross country program and the runners in cross country that ability to run in the spring, represent the college and compete. Yeah. And then now we slowly have started to bring in, you know, all the other unique track and field sports. Um, and it's really cool. It's it's really great. It's building. Um, we have the hopes um, on, on our female roster and female student athletes to come on our track and field program. That's something that we're really um, wanting to do as far as an incentive and what we want to do for next year. So track, awesome job in the spring. Um, golf was back at it. You know, golf is so unique. Majority of schedules in the fall, mm -hmm. and then I got to kick it back in gear, do some golf meets, then try to go into regionals. So it's a learning experience. Yeah. <clears throat> it was for them um, as well. Baseball side of things, just you know, disappointed. Um, as a as a program and a team, we wanted to be in the World Series again and to make a further run. So, but it was what it was. I mean, that's baseball. Um, we just you know, weren't good enough in, in that factor of some of these games and the way things go. And I'm not going to sit here blaming injury bugs and there's injuries, but a lot of guys stepped up too. Um, you know, as a program, we didn't get to where we wanted to, but as individual baseball players, sending out a lot of guys to four-year programs, uh, had a lot of individual success. Jack Otis was named the Region 4 Player of the Year, uh, which is a huge success for a pitcher. Yeah. Um, so – you know, we had a great year, and, and the rest of our guys that are heading off to four years. But, you know, we'll be back. Um, we're back to being hungry and um, going for what we got. And then we'll revive the, the softball routes. Um, Coach Marino's been out in the recruiting world and get them back and back on the field in the fall and prepare for spring of 25. Yeah. You know, uh, and overall, how do you feel uh, kind of at the conclusion of the 23-24 seasons here? Uh, just, you know, where our programs are kind of just in general. Oh, I mean, it's exciting. You know, if you ask me how I feel, it's tired. <laughs> 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 like everyone else in these hallways, but it's a good tired. But it's exciting. We, you know, we're, this is going on, going into year six as myself as athletic director. I mean, 2019 in the summer, we're sitting here, so five, in the summer of 24. But, you, you know, 20 and 21 – you know, you kind of eliminate them with the COVID yeah. and, and all those things. So we're really like two and a half, three years kind of diving into this thought process, dream, goals that I had when yeah. I kind of took over the athletic department. And we're getting the right people in there. 
you know, and it starts off with people like you, Damien. I mean, that have excitement, pride, loyalty to be here and want to be here. Uh, we talk about our coaches hallway down here and every door is open. Coaches are here. Coaches are cheering on other coaches. There's a camaraderie. Uh, we root for each other and want to see each other succeed in yep. this athletic family. So, so it's really awesome. Um, we're still putting pieces together. We're still figuring things out on the athletic side of things from budget to transportation to all these other things. But support from Dr. Angie Case and Lesbitech, who's our Dean of Student Success in Overseas Athletics, and, of course, our administration um, is huge. And they're seeing it and seeing the success that athletics brings to the community and, and all that. So uh, I'm going to keep dreaming. I still got a lot more <laughs> fun things ahead. But um, – you know, a lot of credit, a lot of credit to the to the student athletes in the classroom for what they're able to do. Rachel Helfrich Tobin is an absolute rock star for us in the academic world uh, and what she does on a day to day basis for our student athletes, for our staff, yeah. for pretty much a lot of people. So she she deserves a, a huge kudos she, in, in what she does. Yeah, she she's very much the Swiss Army knife yes. of this department. Yeah, yeah, I think you could put her and Nicola Ferno, and they're like attached on both both wings and yeah. and who needs what and, and does what and um you know it, it's just been it's been fun it's been tiring but it's a good tiring yeah. um it's been ups and downs and roller coaster rides but that's part of athletics yep. so it, it's it's really an exciting time we are continuing to build we have a lot of um strategic goals and plans and i do in that personal level of what we can bring and how we can make each sports program in this department the best in the, in the country. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Greg, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, I know you, you know that you and I, we've talked about some of the things I have. I have ideas as yes. well. Uh, I was talking to Coach Sander Sanderson about some of those. Uh, we were talking about uh, – uh, play by play and that sort of thing, which uh, we want to do more of. Which, which I mean, yes, kudos that Wolves TV or what we were calling it, yeah. and you being able to get this up off the ground. This has been a long thought process, kind of my dream too on the social media, but also the technology platform. So we've done some games play by play. You have gotten our students involved, which yeah. is awesome, and those students who want to be in the journalism world mm -hmm. as a good mentor to that. And then this is all just growing too. So. You deserve all the props as on, well. On the topic of social media, did you see on Instagram the uh, clip I shared? I think of one of your pictures. Just I think he, uh, may, maybe it was an action shot of a play, but I shared something from the uh, primary account. I know I sh tagged uh, Baseball IG as like a collaborator, but it was just like a video I took. Instead of shooting photos, I just used my camera to take video to try and get some action shots. In so there. you definitely have to show me because um, – I am not in the Instagram world, yeah. so uh, that's that's the one that um, the assistants and let them kind of go on the yeah. JJC baseball side. So I've been told to get on it, and then it's great. It's just there's one more platform that I yeah. try not to I, check and, and and keep my news and all that yeah. in one spot. It, it's funny because I'm the opposite. I'm like, get put me on Instagram and TikTok, but I don't care about Facebook. Yeah. Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I know, and JJC Baseball, is, we're, we're big on Twitter in, yeah. the, in the old X world, as you want to call it or whatever, but um, the more you get us as athletics out there in that world, whatever social media, it's awesome. It's just yeah. more publicity for our student athletes, for our coaches, for this program, and you're doing a really great job. At Thank it. you. Well, that's it for Coffee with the Wolves for this wow. year. <laughs> Done. Hopefully uh, next year, maybe we'll actually have coffee and someone that yeah. wants to be part of this, you yeah. know? Yeah, I mean – and if not, maybe we change the name. Who knows? Well, we'll see. <laughs> we can have iced tea with the wolves. Uh, see, I, no, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be into that. All right. Well, yeah. Um, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again in the fall.